children in the previous session we revised lesson number 6 animal life today we are going to revise lesson number 1 that is food and health and lesson number 6 animal life so let us have a look at the questions the first question is choose the correct option now vitamin c is present in tomatoes papaya guava or all of this the correct answer is d all of this sugar and starch are types of fats carbohydrates proteins or vitamins the correct answer is b carbohydrates yes sugar and starch are types of carbohydrates the vitamin that helps in maintaining healthy gums which one is that vitamin k vitamin c vitamin a or vitamin d so the correct answer is b vitamin c <clears throat> let us have a look at the next set of questions which among these is not a method of preservation so canning pickling baking or salting the correct answer is c baking children we have discussed about various methods of preservation they were canning pickling sweetening salting etc but baking is not a method of preservation of food now the next question which among these is not a deficiency disease goiter anemia asthma or rickets the answer is c asthma because goiter is caused because of the deficiency of iodine in the food anemia is caused by the deficiency of mineral called iron rickets is caused due to deficiency of vitamin d now what do snakes have on their bodies hair scales feathers or fur the answer is b scales snakes have scales on their bodies whereas mammals have hair birds have feathers and polar bear have thick hair on their bodies which is known as fur let us see the next questions this next question is fill in the blanks dash have hair on their bodies so what is the answer that's right the answer is mammals mammals have hair on their bodies and birds what do the birds have correct the birds have feathers on the body the animals that live in water breathe through their lungs or gills the correct answer is gills the animals that live in water have specialized organs called gills which help them to breathe the oxygen dissolved in water now the third one the deficiency of iron causes anemia or goiter the correct answer is anemia the deficiency of iron causes anemia in which a person looks pale in color It, the person feel tired these are few symptoms of anemia now let us have a look at the next set of questions in six take in air through spiracles or skin the correct answer is spiracles 
insects have small holes on their bodies through which they breathe which are known as spiracles prawns and tadpoles swim with their correct they swim with their legs polar bears have thick covering of hair called feathers or fur you guess that right it is called as fur hygiene deficiency can cause plague or goiter so the correct answer is goiter the deficiency of iodine causes a disease called goiter and how you can fill this deficiency how you can have iodine yes by consuming seafood or iodized salt let us have a look at the next set of questions now this next question is choose the correct word for the following first is body building food what is it called fats or proteins that is called protein fats are energy giving food because they give energy and also they give warmth to our body whereas protein helps to build our body that's why protein is called as body building food next is a substance added to food to prevent spoilage what is it called yes it is called as preservative for example salt sugar vinegar are the few substances that are used as preservatives next is the seasonal movement of animal from one region to another is known as right that is called as migration we have discussed about so many migratory birds and right monarch butterfly it also migrates now fourth one the front limbs are called as four limbs right the animals have four legs which are called as limbs now the one who are which are in the front all are called as four limbs whereas the legs which are behind are called as hind limbs let us have a look at the next set of questions that is true or false frogs breathe through their moist skin when in water so is it true or false that's true when on land frog breathes with its lungs and when it is in water it breathes with its moist skin so that is true communicable or infectious diseases are caused by germs so children is it true or false that is true now we have discussed that there are two types of diseases communicable or infectious and non communicable or non infectious disease so the diseases which can spread from an infected person to a healthy person is known as communicable or infectious disease whereas a disease which cannot spread from an infected person to a healthy person are called as non communicable diseases for example asthma diabetes etc allergy etc are non communicable diseases that cannot be transferred from a an infected person to a healthy person and the communicable diseases are caused by germs that's true they are caused by germs and which can be spread through 
infected food, infected water, infected air, through direct contact, through damaged skin. Now the next question, iron strengthens bones and teeth. So is it true children? No, that is false. The mineral which strengthens bones and teeth is right. That's calcium. Asthma is a communicable disease. So that's false. It is a non-communicable disease. Snakes and worms do not have legs. So is it true or false? That's true. Snakes and worms do not have legs. Snakes move by straightening and curving their bodies whereas worms move by shortening and elongating its body. Let us see the next questions. So, identify the pictures. So, the first picture is, is it a diet or a balanced diet children? Yes, that's a balanced diet because a diet that provides right amount of all the nutrients as well as water and roughage is called a balanced diet. Now, in this picture, if you see, we can see that it is carbohydrates are there, fruits and vegetables are there, proteins are there and fruits and vegetables contain what? Vitamins and minerals and also carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals, proteins and milk. So all the four food groups are there. So that's a balanced diet. Now the next picture is carbohydrates or proteins. So that is protein because eggs, nuts, beans, meats, all these things are the sources of proteins. Let us see the next picture. So this picture is of fats or carbohydrates. Tell me children. Yes, this picture is of carbohydrates because bread, pasta, noodles, cereals, all the cereals contains carbohydrates. So this picture shows carbohydrates. And the next one, gills or spiracles. So this is the picture showing gills, correct. So here can you see the gills of the fish? So fish has gills which help it to breathe inside the water. It helps the fish to breathe the oxygen dissolved in water. The fishes take in water inside their mouth and as the water passes over the gills, the dissolved oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out. In this way, gills help the animals to breathe the air oxygen dissolved in water. So, the next question, okay, that this picture shows, what does it show? That's a crocodile. So, strong hind limbs or four short legs. What is the correct answer? Yes, that's four short legs. The reptiles like lizard, crocodile, they have four short legs with which they growl and few animals like rabbits and hare have strong hind limbs and the insects like grasshopper 
also have strong hind limbs through which with the help of which they hop they do not walk or run they hop with the help of their strong hind limbs and the next picture webbed hind legs or six legs what is the answer right that is six legs because this picture shows an insects an insect so most of the insects have six legs let us see the next question children so match the column on the right hand side we can see animals on the left hand side we can see the body covering of various animals so let us match the body covering of animals with the correct animal so the first one is fur fur is present on polar bear second one scales so which animal has scales that's crocodile a crocodile has thick leathery scales on its body next is feathers so feathers are present on birds the birds have feathers on their bodies last one is hair hair is present on the body of mammals so we are going to end this session here i hope you enjoyed this session enjoy your holidays children sai ram